It's right here. Yes. So, anyways, um, pbs.twimage.com. Uh, lots of different websites. Literally, um, thousands of them use this server to store um, media files. So, anyways, this is President Trump's response to the dishonorable the members of the United States Senate well all the dishonorable Democrat members and so many of the Republicans so what I'm gonna do for this video you can pause the video on each page to read the response of Trump's legal team issued on February 2nd 2021 so this is page one. There are 14 pages. You may pause the video for a moment, or, no, I'm sorry, keep playing it, but I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Um, I tried for a very long time to find the actual PDF, and so many websites had taken it down so quickly. You know, ABC, Rutgers, Washington Post, um, yeah, just the list goes on and on and on. And I just couldn't find a PDF. I wished I could have a PDF that was text recognizable. I even tried OCR. But some of the pages are JPEGs and some are PNGs. So I apologize. This is the only way I could get it out to you all. Page 7 is next. Wherefore, Donald John Trump, 45th President of the United States, re respectfully requests the honorable members of the Senate of the United States dismiss Article 1, incitement of insurrection, against him as moot and thus in violation of the Constitution because the Senate lacks jurisdiction to remove from office a man who does not hold the office boy this is like preschool stuff but that's what we have with the democrat led house and the silly democrat and many of the republican senators in the alternative the 45th president respectfully requests the senate acquit him on the merits of the allegations raised in the article of impeachment. 
respectfully submitted by Bruce L. Castor Jr., David Schoen, counsel to the 45th President of the United States, dated February 2nd, 2021. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer were warned the day before the riots from the FBI that people had been planting, had been planning these this riot and break in. That night, I was watching live what was going on. And I was totally aghast and surprised and started to see right through their ploy. Because when all the members came back into the chambers, guess what they had with them? Type written speeches. Not very eloquent, just horrible, demeaning lies, misinformation, inaccuracies, non factual statements. They had these type written out. If you study the timeline for the session that was happening, the rioters breaking in, the session that resumed, and if you listen to the words in those speeches, you can go back on C-SPAN website to that silly day and watch them read speeches. There was not time to prepare them. So the FBI had known for quite some time that people were planning to break in. And Nancy Pelosi was warned the day prior. And if you read Trump's tweets, if you can ever find them, and if you watch Trump's speech, he calls for peace. The rioters started before he finished his speech. There's so many things his tweets and his speech did not incite the rioters. That's my two cents. I do give refunds.